Hi, my name's Laura and I'm on the customer success team here at Kila. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can integrate Kila with your very own Google domain using the SendGrid integration. Once you complete the SendGrid integration, you'll be able to use your own domain when you send any emails in Kila, either through a direct email or through your eblast. Let's get started. We're going to log into our Kila account and find all the DNS settings that we're going to need to update within our Google domain. So to find all these settings, I'm going to go to Organization Settings, Integrations, and SendGrid. So what I'm going to do is in order for Kila to populate those DNS settings for you, we just need to confirm exactly what domain we're going to be integrating with Kila. And I've chosen to integrate kilarocks.com today. I'm sorry, I couldn't help it. And yes, that's exactly the domain I'd like to integrate. Now you can see that the SendGrid status has been updated to pending. Remember, we still need those DNS settings to update in Google domains. So I'm gonna click on actions, verify domain, and here's all those DNS settings that we're going to update. Yes, it could look a little bit intimidating, but don't worry, I'm going to take you through the next steps. So what we're going to do next is hop on over to our Google domain settings and we're going to take it from there. So in this next step, we're going to make changes to our Google domain settings. So to do that, I do need to log into my Google domains account. Generally, I like to log into my Google account first, and then I go to domains.google.com, and all my associated domains to my account will show up once I do that. I always end up on this page here. So hopefully you're able to get there as well. If you have any questions about that, uh, you can definitely reach out to us and we can help you troubleshoot. But going to domains.google.com usually does the trick. So once you're logged in, this is where you should be. You should see a list of all your domains. So like I mentioned, we're going to integrate with kilarocks.com. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select that domain. If you have multiple domains on your list, just look for the one that you'd like to connect with Kila. You can connect one. Then we're gonna come to this page. So this is all the settings for kilarocks.com and it's the DNS settings that we're gonna be updating today. So just go ahead and click on that sidebar. And we're gonna scroll all the way down to the custom resource records. So remember when we were in our Kila account, we had all those funny records show up when we said we wanted to integrate with SendGrid. That's what we're gonna be copying and pasting over here. So let's go back to the Google or to the Kila account, and see what I need. So remember actions, verify domain, and we can see three CNAME records and one MX record. If this doesn't make sense to you, that's okay. We're gonna go through this. So first of all, what we'll do is we're gonna copy and paste the host. So Kila slash emails. And what you can do is you can just click this button here and that's gonna automatically copy it for you. And we're gonna add it here. So this is the name. And it's a C name record. Remember, we saw C name. And we're going to add the domain name, which is points to. We're going to go ahead then and click add. And there we go. We have our first C name record. So we're going to continue with the other two C name records. So host goes to name, choose C name. Domain name is the points to. Click add. One more. And there we go. So we have our three C name records. Now there's one last record, the MX record. So very similar. Host is always gonna be reply. It's not a C name record this time, it's a MX record. Oh, there it is. 
and points to it's going to be the mail server. Click add. So make sure everything matches exactly to what you have in the key like count. If you use that handy little copy button, everything should be exact. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna wait 48 hours like Google tells us. It's just gonna take some time for uh, Google to put these in place. And once we've waited 48 hours, we're gonna go back into the key like count and we're gonna verify that everything that's been added has correctly integrated with SendGrid, and then we're gonna complete the final steps. Okay, so here I am back in Kila. I've waited 48 hours, and if you'd like, you can try this even sooner. You might get a, uh, an error from Kila if you do that, and it's not quite ready, but no worries. You can always try again after the 48 hours and see if it works. After 48 hours, if you're still getting an error, make sure everything's exactly um, the same between Kila and your DNS records, or you can always send us an email, and we'd be happy to troubleshoot with you. But anyhow, so I've waited 48 hours, I'm ready to go. So I've gone to my organization settings, integrations tab, scroll down to send grids. You can see it's pending here. We're gonna click actions, verify domain. Remember we added all these CNAME records into our Google domain. And we're gonna go ahead and click verify. Drum roll please. Oh. We don't even have time for a drum roll. It's been verified. So excellent, we're ready to go. So we're connected to kilarocks.com. And the last step is we're just gonna um, toggle on a few options within our organization profile. And each user is gonna have to go into their personal profile as well to toggle on the new domain. So to do that, uh, first of all, we'll go to profile in the organization settings. So this is the organization profile. Outbound email settings, we can go ahead and switch that to do good better at kilorocks.com. There we go. Next step, personal settings and get all of your users to do this, please, if they'd like to use um, uh, Kila for emailing. Profile, email settings again, and just toggle that on. Easy peasy. Um, I hope this video has been informative for you and helped you through the setup. If you have any questions at any point, just reach out to our customer success team, support at Kila.com, and we'd be more than happy to help. Thank you so much.